Quarter seven. Fox News for you at the top of the hour. Always a pleasure to have you with us. We know you have a choice here at AM Savannah, brought to you by SafeTouchSecurity.com. Speaking of security, there's something called IntelliCheck. Underage drinking, getting out of control, but parents, there are some arrows in your quiver. IntelliCheck can do it because all these phony IDs now that they can make on their computers and all that looks so real. But there are devices and there is an app and all sorts of uh, new technology that can distinguish the real thing from the phonies. And uh, Brian Lewis joins us from his offices up there in, uh, in, in New York to tell us more about it. Uh, Brian, uh, a little um, a, so uh, underage drinking out of control. What can we do about it? One of the main problems of underage drinking, which is the ability for kids to buy alcohol because of all the fake IDs are, that are out there. Uh, these vendors are now even advertising on Instagram and Reddit, you know, two popular apps amongst kids. Are they really? So, yeah, there's review sites. You can find out which vendor gives you the best service, has the ones that pass the most often. Uh, there was just a big news article about it uh, came out the other day. And I know Reddit's working on it. They take them down as fast as they find them, but uh, anybody can create a subreddit, and the kids all find them. What can we do to counter this, or what can parents do, uh, Brian? Well, I think the main thing parents should do is sit down and talk with their kids about it, because in Georgia, having a fake ID to buy alcohol you know, isn't a joke. It's punishable with a maximum 12 months in prison and a $1,000 fine, and of course now you've got criminal record, uh, which can hamper you know the, the rest of your life. The main thing that you know, law enforcement and the vendors of underage, you know, age-restricted products can do is use technology to catch these fakes. There's a reason that 65 law enforcement agencies use age ID to ferret out these fakes because the police can't tell them with the naked eye. Mm -hmm. So technology can prove that it's a fake and it can do it in less than three seconds and, and we can stop this from happening. Because the sad thing is, 17.5% of kids in Georgia admit to drinking. So you got to figure that it's even higher. And those numbers are based on age change. Four out of five college students admit to drinking. 50% of it is binge drinking. 2.5% of middle school kids admit to drinking in the past 30 days. So it is a problem. Brian uh, Lewis with us talking about uh, underage drinking and uh, Brian you know I mean it's been going on for a long time now but it's it's so much easier I remember uh, kids that uh, that I knew they could go into just about any convenience store and if they especially if they looked like they were you know a little more mature went to school and one guy looked like he was you know ought to be playing linebacker for the Falcons or something and he was in the eighth grade he could have probably he could pass for any 18 any or 20 anywhere in town between the FDA and other groups putting out there the WE ID and you know, getting people to realize that looks aren't everything. You know, I go to airports now and you know they proof everybody, no matter how old you are. I think that's a really good example that everybody could do. It's a first step, but it's not going to catch these fakes, and that is what the kids are relying on to be able to get into bars and buy uh, alcohol at, at the liquor stores and then go party. And we know it's a big time of year for partying. Football season, you know, everybody's tailgating. Yeah. You know, and then you guys see it every year down in Tybee Island. You, you see what yeah. happens with the amount of underage drinking. What kind of clues do parents have? You know, what I'd say is make sure you stay up and watch them when they come home. Mm -hmm. um, and, again, it's just a matter of, of talking to your children. tends to be the number one deterrent uh, letting kids know what really alcohol can do to their bodies at this young age. And then again, letting them know that although it seems like a joke, all the websites that sell these fake IDs talk about join the party, have fun. They give discounts. The more of your friends you get to place an order at a single time, just let them know it isn't a joke. It is a crime. Yeah, no kidding. Brian Lewis, IntelliCheck, underage drinking out of control, but now there are apps and new technology that can spot a phony ID in about three seconds. 